Today we're going to be talking about things to do in Puerto Rico. Jose and I have been living here for over a year and we're about to prep you guys for pretty much what we do to have fun here on the island. There's so many things to do so stay tuned as we go through this list. So the first thing I know when people think Puerto Rico the first thing they think of are beaches. So here's all of the best beaches that we recommend checking out when you're here. At the top of the list, we have Palomino Beach, which is an island located in Fajardo. If you're interested in checking out this beauty, all you have to do is hire a boat company. We always go with Boricua Charters. Not only are they so much fun, but they also offer food, soft drinks, and drinky drinks. Everything you need for a fun day in the sun. This is one of those beaches that when you have guests or you're traveling to Puerto Rico for the first time, you, you want to just go somewhere that's going to wow everyone, definitely go to Palomino. It's one of the most beautiful beaches on the island. Rumor has it that sometimes people see dolphins here and the dolphins actually swim with people. Next up, we have Playa Escondida in Fajardo. This is actually a beach you have to hike to from Seven Seas Beach, but it's definitely worth the hike. You have to walk for about 20 minutes, but once you do, you're just welcomed by this beautiful view of the mountains and water. The water was crystal clear. Be careful though, because there are some rip currents here every now and then, so just be mindful of your surroundings. Make sure you go with people that can kind of keep an eye on you. I wouldn't go here by yourself. I also want to add that you can find this place using Apple Maps. Just plug it into Apple Maps and you can hike there from Seven Seas Beach. Next, we got Playa Bouye, located in Cabo Rojo, which is about a two hour drive from San Juan, but it's definitely well worth the drive. When you're coming to Puerto Rico, it's important that you try to get out of San Juan. This beach is one of those family friendly beaches that you can enjoy with larger groups. They have fun activities for you to do like kayaking and jet skis. Or if you're looking to just lounge on a nice beach with light sand and light water, then this is the beach for you. I especially like this beach because the waves are never too bad and the water is always the right temperature. It's never too hot, never too cold. It's just perfect. I also want to mention that there's a bar here so you can just get your drink on while you're here. Up next we have Crab boat in Aguadilla which is also about a two and a half hour drive away from San Juan this is one of our favorite beaches because it's just massive it has everything you need bars food uh, we also like getting ice cream while we're out here I would put this beach at the top of your list if you're visiting the island because Aguadilla has so many nearby spots that you're gonna want to check out while you're here in Puerto Rico if you want to check those out just make sure you give us a follow on Instagram or TikTok at planet of the Jays we post a lot more details about different spots to visit in the Aguadilla area but anyway back to this beach it was gorgeous next up we got Playa Pico in Rio Grande which is about a 20 to 30 minute drive from San Juan this spot is perfect if you're looking for a low-key spot that isn't too packed that you can enjoy with your family I would like to mention that there aren't any bathrooms here so keep that in mind but you do have a natural bathroom anyways in the water I guess if you come down here with your boo it's actually a really romantic spot as well so keep that in mind you may want to bring some champagne too all right so we got to run some errands really quick we actually have a, a coffee brand planeta de cafe and throughout the week we try to record videos but in between we actually have to package orders so that's what we're about to go do we'll try to keep this video going while we're on our way to the post office i'm gonna get these orders out thank you so much if you've ever ordered our coffee we appreciate it Another really cool thing to do here in Puerto Rico is to visit the coffee farms. One of our favorite farms is Hacienda Tres Angeles. It's actually where we source our coffee from in Arruntas. But the cool thing about going there is you get to learn a little bit all about how coffee is uh, grown here, um, the history behind coffee. You get to taste all these different types of coffees. Not only that, but you get to experience the most beautiful views ever. You know, just looking out and seeing all of that greenery and just um, being with nature is it's really just a great overall experience. Yeah, Hacienda Tres Angeles. It's also where we get our coffee from. Did you mention that earlier? I don't really know if you did, but... Yeah, I did, but, I, but I'm gonna need a little help over here carrying one of these boxes. Oh yeah, it's hard to record and do the boxes at the same time. We're about yeah. to send these orders out. Um, can you tell us where these orders are going through to? Let's see. We got one going to Puerto Rico. I just saw the box. Let me get another box. Let's see where this one's going. And we got another order going to St. Cloud, Florida. Thanks so much for orders, guys. Keep them coming. Let's take a look here. We have one right here going to Austin, Texas. Another one going to Philly. Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Austin for thank the you for, support. Yeah, thank you for all the Planeta de Café orders. Let's get back to this video. Things to do in Puerto Rico. All right. Aside from the coffee farm, we really recommend going shopping while you're here, especially if it rains. You want to go somewhere 
that's rain friendly. It rains a lot here in Puerto Rico, so we like going to the malls anytime that it does. All right, so let's talk shopping in Puerto Rico. We like going to the Mall of San Juan to sightsee and stuff, but I'm not gonna lie, this mall is very bougie. They have really expensive stores like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, but mainly it's just a bunch of luxury stores that you can also find in the States. So I think it's kind of overrated, not gonna lie, but I do love the aesthetic here and the food court is really nice. And of course, I love their Krispy Kreme. I'm a big Krispy Kreme fan. One of our favorite spots here is the Dolce Vita store, which you can get a lot of different items from the house that are very custom and modern, cool. Um, we really love that spot. Another place you're definitely going to want to check out when you're in Puerto Rico is the district of T-Mobile, which is kind of like an outdoor mall type of place where they have all different types of stores, restaurants to come to with your family. They even have live music sometimes. We actually came here for New Year's. They had a huge countdown and a ball drop. It was pretty epic because they also had a ton of food trucks. There were thousands of people there. We could barely even move when we came here for New Year's. I definitely recommend it. We also love going to the movie theater here. They have a Caribbean cinema right here. Not to mention this place is super Instagrammable. Another thing to do is to check out Plaza Las Americas in San Juan. This mall is huge, so make sure you have some comfortable sneakers on. But they have a lot of cool stores. It's a little bit less bougie than um, the mall of San Juan, but it's still really nice. And you have a nice full food court and a lot of cute little boutiques. All right, Gerald, you got to talk about what these people really care about. Get up, big bat, and go make some breakfast. You know you're hungry. When you're considering places to go eat, I highly recommend going to Fajardo and checking out El Pescador. This restaurant had the best ceviche I ever had in my life. I almost cried. Their grilled chicken was so delicious. I normally always get grilled chicken, but their grilled chicken was different. It had like all these different like vegetables and things in it. It was so just juicy. The next spot you have to check out is Soliel Steakhouse. When I tell you, you have to run to this place because it is so good. Their fish, we I always get the chio frito. It's really, really good. And it also has beach views, so you can kind of have a nice meal. It, it can be a little romantic you see we came here for a date and we just got to enjoy these beautiful views while eating that delicious food i think piñones might have some of the best food in puerto rico so if you come just make sure you check out all of the kioscos as well next up our favorite restaurant on the list is acapulia quema this restaurant actually was the deciding factor in whether or not we were going to move over here after i ate there once i fell in love with the island the acapurias are so delicious that you really probably will end up smacking your mama after you have one bite of their acapuria. And now I'm craving an acapuria. Damn it, I was trying to be good this week. Last on our list, we have La Cueva de Mar. This is actually a chain restaurant, but it's not your typical chain. Their fish here is next level. I'm telling you right now, um, after eating here once, you'll never look at seafood the same way. Jarrell is so picky with his fried fish after eating here. Their salmon is actually really good as well. Wait, wait, we got one more bonus uh, restaurant that I'd like to mention, Zajori, which is located in San Dulce, right in Calle Luisa. We love coming here. The acapurias are really good. They also make this bowl that has pateles, pernil, and acapurias in it. It's so good. The churrasco is also delicious. Now that we're at the end of this list, I'm actually getting pretty hangry. Before we go, one more thing to do. Uh, before you come to the island, make sure you check up on local events. We use this website called Puerto Rico Day Trips to find local events here in Puerto Rico. We actually ended up going to a coffee expo on the island thanks to that website. We just got to the coffee and chocolate expo in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yes, yeah, so we actually have our own coffee brand, Planeta de Café. So we wanted to come here and check this place out, see what, what it was all about. Yeah, we actually want to exhibit here next year. So this is just kind of like a walkthrough, see what the other groups are doing. We want to do a bit of research before we decide to you know sell our own coffee there let's go check it out see this is the good thing about living here on the island there's always things to do and the fact that we're in the coffee business just makes it even better because of the fact that there's so many coffee connoisseurs out here and there's so much to learn so we're excited for this yeah and i also want to add that the shirt he's wearing is one of our shirts it says puerto rican coffee it's one of the shirts from our brand planeta de cafe you know we got to represent the coffee here on the island yeah, this is This is the convention area. Really fancy. This is like the the playoffs of coffee and chocolate here with the people. Yeah, this is basically like us going to a convention in Vegas right now, but uh, Boricua style. Oh yeah. Look at that line. There's a ton of people here. 
the booths here were incredible all these brands were super inspiring and we got to try some of the products they were amazing Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I realized that a lot of these things were in San Juan. We live in San Juan and we're looking to expand. So if you have any other suggestions on things to do on the island, feel free to comment them below and subscribe to see more of our stuff.